Now, sometimes they'll give you a uh, probability a distribution to uh, start with, like in the previous video. Let's say they said, okay, we've got a situation where we have gone into a city and we have looked at households with from zero to four dogs. Uh, 53% have zero dogs, and 33% have one dog, and so forth. And then they come in and ask us, what is the probability that I randomly pick a household with fewer than three dogs? Let me see if I can make this a little larger. Fewer than three dogs. Okay, well, fewer than three dogs means zero, one, or two. So actually, I could just say equals the sum. Double click here of 0, 1, or 2, those probabilities. So the probability of having fewer than three dogs would be 0.945 because I added the probabilities of having 0, 1, or 2. What about the probability of at least one dog? That means one or more dogs. So here I could simply sum up the probabilities of 1, two, three, or four dogs, so that's at least one dog. I can close that out. Don't necessarily have to. Excel guesses that you want to do that. So the probability of having at least one dog would be 0.468, rounded to three decimal places, between one and three dogs inclusive. That means the probability of having one dog, two dogs, or three dogs. Inclusive just means to include the 1 and the 3, so I would say equals the sum of the probability of 1, the probability of 2, plus the probability of 3, and that would be 0.446. That's how easy it is if you get these numbers into Excel.